What's up, you guys? Good morning. Um, what it do? I am Nia. Welcome back to my channel. Um, and today, you guys, what the fuck is that? A net or something? That's why I, I need to throw these. I bought these little bananas and stuff. These joints mushy. Let me throw them away. Hold on. They were so cute at first. Uh, them little mini bananas. I was like, they're so cute for my baby. But y'all, today, I was, like, y'all know, so if y'all been watching my video, like, I'm on my healing journey. And, you know, I'm just trying to become a better person, um, you know, just for me and for my kids. Like, I can't be a good role model for my kids if I'm not a better me for myself first, you know, which is why I just been... You know, telling y'all a lot about myself, just, you know, because I'm not perfect and none of us are. And I know it's other people out here who are struggling with just, you know, figuring themselves out, figuring their life out, figuring out who you are, you know, like we all are. We're just like walking around. There's so many of us that are just lost out here and I was once really, really lost and I just feel like I'm now getting an understanding of what life is about, what relationships are about, what dynamics are about. You know, now that I'm really just like studying more, I'm like really been considering going back to school to get my master's honestly for psychology because I'm really into this. Like I really love to study people, study behaviors, study patterns, study relationships. Like, you know, one thing I'm realizing is that we're humans. There's not too many different Sorry, I got this scarf around my neck. I just took it off my head. Trying to lay this mess down, y'all, until I get to do my hair. Um, so, but I've really just been studying, um, you know, like I told y'all, I've come here to Texas. I've been on a healing journey. Like, since I've got here, like, it's like God brought me here just to get me away from everyone so that I can have a, like, epiphany and it's allowed me to reflect a lot on my life and a lot on my own, um, a lot about my own relationships and dynamics, you know, where I played a part in things and, you know, everything, just like a whole revelation of everything. And, you know, it just lets me know that the main key to who we are is where we come from, who we come from. So that's why I just wanted to talk about why parenting is so important because, a lot of us are damaged because of our parents, not, you know, to place the blame and play the blame game. But I mean, it's just a harsh reality. We can't blame them because they come from that. And then they come from that. You know, a lot of this is just generational traumas and generational cycles. And that's why I'm so big on breaking every single generational curse that was set onto my family from the uh, uh, abuse to the Jezebel spirit, to the financial debtness, just not knowing how to have financial literacy. Like I'm breaking all of those curses. Like I'm going to be the example and I'm going to change the narrative for my kids. And um, that's what I just wanted to talk about basically. Like just give some tips on how we can be a better parent. That's really what my channel is going to become. Like, you know, I'm going to do some day in the lives just when I do do stuff, I don't really do much, y'all. I do the same thing every day, pretty much, which is be a mother. <laughs> so, you know, and work on myself. That's literally all I do every single day is to be a mom, handle my mom duties, and get off. Well, not get off, because you never get off of being a mom. But once I'm, you know, done getting them situated or spending my time with them, I make sure I get my alone time so that I can read, that I can pray, that I can get my mentorship, that I can get my therapy sessions in. Like, I don't have a real therapist, but I've used YouTube watching the doctors on here that talk about narcissist abuse and that, you know, just finding my lane, finding that my community within um, YouTube on Facebook groups and stuff, just finding where I fit in, you know, with helping me heal, like being a part of these groups where other people have gone through the same things as me, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I finally found somewhere where I fit in, where I'm not alone. So it helps me heal those da um, damaged issues within myself, you know, and that's just the main key to becoming a better parent is to first learn to love yourself, learn to know who you are, like figure out who you is, figure out what it is that you like you know, about yourself. Spend that alone time with yourself. Like, we can't keep waiting on anybody to save us. We are parents, especially if you're a parent. Like, my target audience is definitely, you know, the parents, boy or girl, or man or woman, rather. Um, I know I got maybe have young moms that, you know, were young, like me having kids. And, 
you just didn't know and you might have made mistakes and you know because you when you when we have these babies they don't give us no book to send us home with to say okay this is how you be a parent this is how to you know support your kids physically emotionally and financially like we always so focus on providing for our kids financially but we miss out on that emotional um bond with them and that's what causes the kids to feel just unwanted like they not heard you know it's just a lot of that that play um into part so i'm gonna i'm not gonna make this video too long but um eventually i'm just gonna do like some breakdowns um different videos of how we can become better people and become better parents um for our children and one of the things um, that I wrote down first so far was take responsibility of your children. Like, you know, stop waiting on everybody to come save you and to save your children. Stop relying on the school systems to teach your children everything. Stop relying on their friends to put them on to stuff about what's going on in the, in the world that you're not talking about with them at home. And then they go and school and they're being subjected to these topics and then they're lost and then they're getting fed the wrong information by other kids their age who don't really know much so that's why it's key to talk to your children hi bookie mm -hmm. she just woke up she stayed home from school today um you know even with her like with that this morning like i didn't force her to go like you know she's tired first i'm like well what's wrong why don't you want to go to school normally she's not sober she always take forever to want to wake up or whatever but she this morning it was just different and that's what i'm saying when you pay attention to your kids i just saw like a bug on there it was a part of that fucking nap yeah that is good. What the fuck? i missed his ace again look at that that's the thing with having these damn fresh fruits out get them damn fruit flies or whatever the fuck they are but anyway sorry for that <laughs> But that's what I do, and I'm working on that too. And that's why we're doing this parenting journey together. Like, you know, that's one of my main issues. I know where I lack at. Like, that's one of the main areas that I know it, where I lack at is my delivery, my communication, how I talk. Um, and I did another video talking about, you know, how you can see your kids are watching you, but I didn't post it because um, it was just all over the place. So mm -hmm. it was about mm -hmm. some other stuff. What? I want bacon. Okay, I'll make you some food in one second once I finish doing this video. Okay. All right, so, all right, go on. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Sorry, but for real. Um, you know, and I love my babies. Like, and just, that's what I was saying, like, this morning. She, she just was, you know, I can I was like, is something wrong? Like, did something happen at school yesterday? Like, why you don't want to go to school? So at first, she was lying, talking about, um, but she was just like, mm, like, she don't be saying nothing. And really, that irritates me when she doesn't express herself like I really teach I'm really big on expression in my household in my relationships and you know my relationship with my children relationship with my boyfriends or whoever my relationship with my mom is just about express how you feel you know because I can't change and I can't help you if I don't know what you need you know so that's why we have to stop teaching our kids to just shut up and keep quiet we need to listen to them and understand them and pay attention when they are talking and pay attention to what they're not saying pay attention to their body language pay attention to a shift in their behavior like we literally have to pay more attention to our kids you know yes you're, you get faced with the distractions of work and everything but your kids are priority like you have to put them first um and that's why we want to do because i wrote down i remember i got down a lot of stuff on here um especially because I, um, that's what I really use Twitter for because um, I analyze you know Twitter is where everybody express their thoughts it's the social media app where you're putting your thoughts out so to see so many um, people grown ups not necessarily grown ups um, but just ages like 18 to 30 because it's millennials and these Gen Z it's us on the social media pretty much especially on Twitter. And just to see so many of us, to see so many of us are just damaged because of parenting and not being heard. It's why we struggle in our relationships. So that's why I really push for my kids. Well, my daughter, since she's the only one that can talk right now like that. Um, I push for her to be open. Like, so with school, I'm like, why you don't want to go to school today? Like, did something happen? You know, where the kids being mean? Like, so at first she was like, that the little boy, some little boy hit her in her knee. I was like, so you know, with that, I'm like, okay, well, who did like who did it? Did you tell the teacher? Did you hit them back? Because I definitely teach my kids to hit back. Um, you have to teach your kids how to defend themselves. You cannot let them 
So you cannot teach them that it's okay to be a pushover because they'll be continue to be a pushover for the rest of their life. And they'll continue to be a people pleaser for the rest of their life. Like you cannot teach them that it's okay to let, the, let anyone treat them wrong, even you as their parent. And that's why you set the tone. A lot of times we set the tone for our kids because if we treat our kids bad, either they gonna go treat them being, being mad and bad and mean to other kids and other people as they grow up because that's what was done to them. You know, it'd be a lot of projection. Or um, they'll go out in the world just letting everybody, like, like they're a doormat. Everybody walk around on them like a doormat, treat them and take their lunch, abuse them. Like you gotta teach your kids to toughen up. It's not all, like, life is not sweet and it's not supposed to be. And then we can preach, oh, just people just need to be nicer. But the reality is, that girl ate that um, apple off that damn tree and she released good and evil into the world. So now we have evil in the world. It's our job to tell our kids and teach our children, teach ourselves how to differentiate, differentiate between good and evil because it's just the reality of it now. It's already been released. It's already been released into the air. So now we just have to educate them on how to navigate through it when they're dealing with it because they're in school, you're dealing with people from all different backgrounds in one setting. People who, some kids and, you know, know what they went through this morning just to get to school. So they bring in that hurt and that pain and bring it into school and just so many other things. Um, which is why we gotta talk to our kids and make it a safe zone for them to express and talk so they won't be burying all these thoughts inside and then becoming suicidal. Like that's for her, so. Um, and I was like, well, why don't you run to school? She said the boy hit her. So I'm like, well, who? Because here we go again. Like, we, like I just told you on the last video, we have been fine since we got here. Like, we used to have all those complaints at the last school when we lived in Maryland. But since we've been in Texas, she don't complain. And she had like one little complaint about the boy that hit her. So I think that's what she was talking about this time. She was really lying though. So, because she ended up telling me, I'm just like, well, why? What happened? As I keep questioning her about what happened with the boy, did you tell the teacher? Um, what did the teacher say? You know, you just really got to ask those questions to force them to open up and make them feel safe. Don't start yelling at them. Just calmly, well, what happened? Mommy's going to protect you. Mommy got you. You know, mommy will come up there and yeah, I will fuck a nigga lungs up on my baby so I don't play with my baby because I will turn that whole school upside down. I don't care if it's majority white. I don't care about none of that when you play with my child, period. But really in all, all in all, she ended up telling me, I just don't, I just don't want to do no work today. <laughs> like, and, and it's a, di and this is why we have to, our kids' feelings matter. She's coming from Baltimore, which is ghetto. They don't have as much work and as, they're not working their brains as much in that school that she came from versus the school we're at now. She's in kindergarten. It's like she went from kindergarten level work to like first grade work all within one school year because they're more of advanced here where we are now. So. That's why my baby come home. Ever since she's been going to school here, she come home tired as hell, okay? She go to sleep and she be out. Like she literally slept from four something yesterday. It was like five o'clock maybe. So she's just waking up now. I tried to wake her up this morning. She didn't really want to wake up, but she might have woke up last night. I don't know. She said she didn't wake up last night and play. Because sometimes if she sleep late, she'll wake up and play and all that. But... You know, and she she goes she she always go to school, right? Like, she don't really miss days in school like that. So I was like, all right, you can stay home today. Like I know your brain probably hurts. It's the end of the school year. Field day is tomorrow. Um, we can we got to go out and get some more stuff for um so she can we can make sure she got her swim shoes and stuff for field day tomorrow at school. So I was like, she could just stay home. Um, cause my baby did be tired and you could tell like she's getting, she, I mean, she's been smart, but you can tell she's really working her brain. She comes home, she does her little, um, workbook. I bought her this first grade workbook, um, for her to do cause she's going to be working in it over the summertime. Um, but she actually been working on it now. She just likes to work in it every day. So my, my baby be working her brain. So she be tired when you think, cause I, that's how I am when I'm thinking a lot and you know, brainstorming and trying to figure this out. You do, when you're working your brain, that does make you tired. So she, that's what she ended up saying, basically, like, you know, mom, and mom. she was like, well, it took her a minute to say, I'm like, say it, like, did something happen? Did somebody do something to you? Like, you know, me, because of my own past and because I know how, um, you know, she's in a majority white area, so I don't know if she might face racism and stuff. Like, so I always ask her these questions about, you know, the teachers, about who at recess. Like, I question, I ask these questions, like, because I want to just make sure that my baby know that no matter what, 
come to mommy. Even if mommy get upset sometimes or at other things you do, never feel like you can't come to mommy because mommy is here to protect you. Mommy is always going to protect you. Mommy is going to be the one that fight for you. I'm going to be the one that chastise you. I'm going to be the one to tell you when you're wrong, but I'm also going to be the one to protect you first because it's us against them. So I'm not going to let nobody play with my baby. And that's why I was asking her, like, but she was really lying about that whole situation with uh, with the boy kicking her. I think that was the same one who had hit her like not long ago. Um, but you know, kids play and stuff. Um, but she don't complain. Normally, when something like at that last school, when something was really going on with her, she would come home as soon as she leave the door. When I'm picking her up, waiting outside the door for her for school, she would be like, "Mommy, this person did that. This person did that." So I know that it ain't too much really going because she would be open and talk to me about it. Um, and that's just the main thing. And that's why I want to encourage, you know, any parents watching this, just be more available for your kids so that they can feel like that their feelings matter. Like, you know, I just take my pain from my neglect as a, you know, being a child. Even though my mom was very, we had an open relationship, but it's just like when no one is there and you feel like, you know, you don't matter. Work is more important than the kids and your man is more important than me and partying is more important than me getting your alone time is more important than spending time with me and then you wonder why the kids grow up and then they don't we this this is why we gotta have different videos about this because i don't want to make this too long but that's today's um little spill on this we're gonna go deeper into this parenting thing um uh, that's what mainly my thing is focused on because that's my passion is being a bomb ass mother to my own kids and i want y'all to be great parents to y'all kids because it starts at home Literally, the way we act in the streets, the way we act in public, the way we feel in our relationships, it all stems from, you know, previous, um, it stems from home, it stems from your own dynamics, and then it goes into relationships, and then those relationships affect the next relationship, so it's just like, we gotta start healing, and gotta start, you know, communicating better, period, as a people, um, and like I said, it all starts at home with teaching your kids how to be open and how to express themselves. Um, so yeah, y'all, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm about to go cook her some breakfast and then we're going to go out. Um, cause I need to get a couple things done today. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Deuces.